Speaking of Shidai, I haven't played Arjun in a while, actually. He's good. I think there's there's several. I mean, Zeran's trash, but these three are all really good choices. So I'm gonna, I think I've played Arjun the least since I started playing Draft again. There isn't any next game, right? No, that was that was 7-3. and three. We're done now. So we can move on. Ooh. So, relatively premium 2-drop. Or a high tier 4-drop. I found it harder to pick up twos recently, and this one goes with Afterblaze, which is one of my favorite cards in Lionel decks. So I'll pick a Windblade. This card, I think having one copy of Martyrdom is so much better than having zero copies of Martyrdom. As a Herald of Primus Shieldmaster. Wow, the hits keep coming. Um, I think this time I'll pick the premium four drop. I think Primus is significantly better than Hailstone. Um, and as a Herald is... is Valuable for healing, but Primus also provides that kind of defensive power, so this is tough. Yeah, this is good. I like tough decisions. They're, they're the interesting part. Give all friendly minions plus attack equal to their health. Mass Divine Bond. That seems very clunky. 5 mana 4 5 with a relevant text. No. Which kind of just leaves us the Magnetize, which I guess is good for killing small ranged units and bust. It's like basically a true strike in the early game. Uh, and later on you can do cute things with pulling your backline units in for sudden attacks and stuff. Let's go for a good deck to compensate the previous one. Yeah, here's hoping. <laughs> Ooh. So we already have a good piece of removal and another piece of worse removal. So Repulsive Beast, which is quite bad. Uh, usually, in my opinion, I'm not too keen on here. At least over Bright Moss Golem. I mean, Repulse is okay, but like, Bright Moss is where it's at. Give me those big boys. Kind of like this perfect 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 card. Double a minion's health. Give a minion plus 3 health. Or an AoE spell. I guess I'll take the AoE spell <laughs> over the two unplayable cards. Ooh, Scintilla. And a Sunrise Cleric. And then Bolster, which is... No, this is... Scintilla is really good, and it will make me feel better about missing out on uh, As a Herald earlier. The Sunrise Cleric isn't bad either, actually. But Oh, yes. Yes, ranged units. Uh, Veil Hunt is really good in Arjun, because we don't have to put an effort to buff it. So, I will pick that. Another Magnetize, an Elk Owl, which can be a ranged unit, and actually generally goes pretty well with buffs, because you can get, like, Celerity, Flying, Blast, um, and Ranged, which are all good with buffs. Legendary Neutrals are kind of alright, but I, I think the Alcal is probably worth it. Another Windblade, Sunstorm Braces, or a second Tempest. Tempest definitely has diminishing returns, because the card's downside is quite large. Um, Sunstorm Braces, I think, are okay, because you can kill two drops with them, but they don't do much else beyond that. Whereas Windblade is another premium too, so I'm happy to pick this up. Now this is a way to have Tempest. This is tempting. Lionel have quite a lot of good legendaries though. And I don't know if I want this effect. Um, I mean it is still a body with force field. It's probably still worth it on that basis. Breaker boy. You reckon? I do like the, the force field. But it's a bit less good when you can't roar it. And it kills like my own Veil Hunter and stuff. Yeah, it's probably still fun. Photographer is interesting. Diamond Golem or Blood Tear. We so far have no ping except for the like overkill Tempest cards. So I think the Blood Tear is probably worth. Just getting rid of eggs is so valuable. Most of these choices are hard. I would agree there. This has been well, we've seen some trash ones, but this this been this is this has been interesting. It's cheap removal or a light bender. I quite like Lasting Judgment. I think the its ability to be a pump spell is surprisingly good. Bender EZ. Um, I don't know. I think lasting judgment... Because judgment kills ranged units as well, right? Like, cheaply. Um, and it buffs your own units surprisingly well. Um, we don't have anything it goes really well with. We have a Sunbreaker and a Bright Moss, though, still. Damn, you picked spells. No Titan Dreams. <laughs> Magnetize is quite spicy. It's not like 
The best card to play with this, bar none, is Ruby Rifter. Um, so I'm kind of hoping we just randomly get a Ruby Rifter. Um, I think I want Lasting Judgment over Lightbender, but I'm honestly not sure. I think it's very close. I'd certainly want the second one over the second copy of the, the first, you know? No. Oh, wow, these are all really bad. <laughs> um... But we have a Golem. Could try and pick up some more. And it is still a 1-4, which goes well with the BBS. So it's probably better than this, like, tra crap 5-drop. Yeah. Sure. Keeper of the Veil. Zenry or War Exorcist. Oh, man. War Exorcist has to be broken as hell, right? There's no way that's bad in Gauntlet. Exco, yeah. I do like Zenry a lot, though. Especially with Giagos, but, like, there's no way this card is bad, right? Like, this has to be, like, absurd. Oh, Suntide Maiden, hell yeah. Although it's <laughs> mediocre with War Exorcist. It was a Repulsor Beast. I think we're okay on removal now. And a Void Hunter, which is a pretty fine card. But I think I'll, I'll pick the Suntide Maiden easy. Really like Suntide Maiden. And obviously, incredible with Raw. Yes, give me that Scorn. Scorn for days. Kind of good with War Exorcist, actually. For damage on your minions. I mean, these other picks are not bad. There's a 2 drop with some vaguely relevant ability. And uh, a 3 drop with a very relevant ability. But Scorn away. Remember when I got my Shero plus Exorcist against you in Ladder? Ooh, I actually don't, to be honest. Uh, second Scorn or Rock Adopt Terror? It's actually interesting, because I've got quite a lot of AoE now. My curve isn't fantastic, and Rock Adopt Terror does some of the same things. Or it just draws a card. Nah, Scorn is too good, right? And we've got, like, several... We've got several cards that it's good with. We have... Um, a force field unit, we have... Well, I guess not that good with that. There's a sun type menu of a war exorcist. Pinging your own stuff is kind of... Valuable. A mech cause people in mechs or just robots? I think they're just robots. The sun type main literally not work with war exorcist. It works if they damage it on their turn, or if it's not near you. And it's got damage on it. It was a while ago, but you made a vid of it. It was also with your fractal intensify deck. Wow. That was a while ago. Uh, that wasn't my deck, by the way. I don't think I designed that. Yeah, maybe we want Vigilator here for the curve. I have no, I don't think I've ever played this card, so maybe I should just pick it to test. But these cards are both really good, so... Yeah, let's try this out. I I might regret this, but I think the ability could be quite strong. Oh. Well, I don't think we want a second Magnetize. I mean, that's not bad. Plus two attack and provoke. I think the, the restriction is quite high, though, so maybe I'll just pick this. And try and get some bonkers legendaries. Give me the goods. We have goods. Goods confirmed. Holy crap. What do we do here? <laughs> like second war exorcist seems kind of good. But Surge, I've lost hard to Surge Forger before. It does some ridiculous things. <laughs> Everyone wants the Fate Sealer. I'm glad I picked it. Oh, man. Where do we go? This is great. Z <laughs> I honestly don't know. I think these cards are all quite similar in power level. Search Forger is going to be harder for us to get value out of because our curve is kind of high. So this isn't as much of a Surge Forger deck. Pick the GM. Zero, it's for fun. Surge Forger seems a hard if they're on counter fast. Yeah, but it is still a 2-2 two -two for 3. I, I've i played against it twice and my opponent had like a bunch of stuff and it was ridiculous. I don't have a bunch of stuff. I have a high curve mid-range deck, so the other two are probably better for me. Exorcist has more synergy. This is true with the Scorn, but I think... The nice thing about Zir is that they can't burst you when you have a Zir. 
So good against Song Hai and Fei. Yeah, I'm gonna go zero, I think. For the Exorcist. The problem with the Exorcist is like they can kill the minions or the Exorcist to shut it down. Um It's hugely threatening, but like there are lots of ways that the combo can be broken up. Whereas zero, like you have to remove him or can't die. So I think we want this. I played against it with the card that gives everything possible someone moves. But I was playing Nematon, so no real amount of value can outmatch all your minions getting plus four plus four. Nematon is hilarious. Um if you don't trade board, you just die. Not sure what that's referring to. Let's pick Zir. I think we're gonna Zir. We'll see which one of them does better. Oh, uh, more unplayable cards, but this decorated and listy is fine, I guess. Um, Koi, no. Light Chaser, no. Which leaves me with Rescue RX, which is a perfectly fine card. War Search. You like War Search, really? Hmm. Blistering Scorn here. Dagakiri is actually kind of legit when you can buff it, but I think Scorn is too good. Also goes with War Exorcist. Legion, Sunbloom, Slow. I don't really like Dispels that don't give you a body. And Legion shows up the curve a bit and gives us a little bit of card draw. Slow is good. I don't think Slow is good. I think Slow wastes like a ton, but that's going to so rarely matter. No Dispels, so it might be worth it. I don't know. Like, we have a Martyrdom and a Lasting Judgment and then plenty of AoE. So we're not, like, massively lacking in interaction. Um, whereas, what I would like is some card advantage. I think this is a Legion pick. I don't really rate Sunbloom in draft. Like, you answer their thing, but then you're like, oh, I don't have any cards. Ooh, this might be a Bond deck. So we have Suntide Maiden, Bright Moss Golem, War Exorcist, Grandmaster Zir, Decorated Enlistee, Vigilator, um, Primus, and Magnetize, which is pretty sick with uh, bomb targets. Curve-wise, we have two, three, four, five two-drops so far. So it might be worth it. Even though Windblade Adept is good, it's not that good um, compared to just being able to murder somebody. I think that might be worth. He didn't get the Divine Bond the whole field. No, I think that card is bad. Um, in the it is six mana, incredibly conditional, and doesn't. It requires you to have quite a lot of quite a lot of board presence that's in position to do something to make it worth playing. The Tigris is easier to pick with Bond. I mean, I pick the Tigris over almost anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll snap this off. I think uh, this is Bond time. Oh! Baby. Pog, Champ, what do we take? We're kind of fine on three drops now, so I'm going to pick the Azra line, I think. Speaking of Bond targets... That might be good, actually. We don't have that much high-end. And I quite like Silverbeak as a card. It's just big and doesn't die very easily. Makutu, where's your Duelist card? I wish I had a, sp uh, a streamer card. I would love that. I never got one. Maybe I would have if the game, the development had continued longer. There is the opportunity to pick a Sunbloom here, but now that I've got Divine Bond, I think I want to max out on the beef. So I'm going to pick the beef. Neos, Lucid Beam, Channel Breath. How many enablers do we have for Lucent Beam? One. Two. Three, technically. <laughs> um, so we can probably ignore that. Which means I'm probably just picking the Minos, which is like this card's fine. No real complaints there. I'm a big believer in Minos. Yeah, that seems good. 
Your card is Keeper of the Veil. That's true. What would my card do? So if, if I had the choice... Oh, wow, that's a, quite a big question, actually. Oh, this is pretty good with the uh, Bond. Sure. Ranged unit. I'll pick it. <laughs> 